Look, I don't know what craziness is going on in your state. We begin with a fiery night in Portland's Pearl District. The scene turned violent with people stoking a fire in the street. Police deployed crowd control munitions and made 19 arrests. But if you're like thousands and thousands of other people, Texas is looking pretty good right now. And I want to tell you from a local Texan real estate broker helping hundreds of people move here all the time, it is worth taking a look at. Texas is still one of the leading economies in the world. Texas economy came out of the Great Recession much faster than other states. Uh, we're generally in the top five states in terms of job growth. We've got an incredible job market, not only relative to the rest of the country, but sustained over a very long period of time. Housing is relatively affordable and we've got more land and more opportunity to continue building. Now, Texas is a big, broad, very diverse state. So when I talk about Texas, I'm usually speaking mostly about Dallas, Fort Worth, and the surrounding communities, which by the way, collectively is one of the largest population centers in the world. Dallas and Fort Worth are side by side, Dallas to the east, Fort Worth to the west, millions of people in between, lots of small towns you've probably heard of like Plano, Frisco, McKinney, Garland, Arlington, and a lot of other places in between and around that in and in, you know by themselves are substantial cities, but all together are one of the largest MSAs, metropolitan statistic areas in the world, statistical areas. So there's a lot of choices. As a matter of fact, on our YouTube channel here, we've got dozens and dozens of videos about those specific cities. So feel free to check that out. But as a whole, Dallas-Fort Worth is a great job market, economic market, professional sports, lots of arts, public transit, incredible recreation, you know, in town is certainly a big city, but there are some small town feel opportunities without going too terribly far, really all around the Metroplex. So depending on what you're looking for, there's a very good chance we've got it even to some of the more niche interest areas like a cricket stadium. So we've got videos on that as well. Check that out. But there's a lot going on here in the realm of public education. We've got some incredible higher education opportunities, public and private. For the most part, some really, really attractive public school districts at every level. Uh, we've got outdoor recreation opportunities, and we've got some of the most incredible indoor recreation opportunities all over, from rock climbing, professional sports, minor league sports. We've got baseball, football at every level, tennis, golf. The PGA of America recently moved their headquarters to the North Texas area. There is so much that I could never cover in one video. So if you have questions, drop those down in the comment section. We'll definitely respond to you there. Fort Worth tends to be known as Cowtown. It's not the tiny town that it once was, but it's still doing their very, very best by design to maintain that small town feel. Uh, the stockyards and the kind of the rodeo attitude does exist there for, you know, in a very real way, but it doesn't define the entire city anymore. You can live in Fort Worth and be sort of in a high tech field. There's Facebook is there. Apple's bringing business there. There's all sorts of exciting stuff happening. And, and most of that's true for the Dallas side as well. You know, in movies throughout, you know, the decades, Dallas has been portrayed as kind of the rhinestone cowboy kind of high tech uh, deal. But a lot of that still exists, but so does a very metropolitan, you know, kind of high end lifestyle exist here as well, especially with shopping and restaurants and housing. Um, so there's some very traditional Texas things happening and there's some very metropolitan new stuff happening all in and around Dallas, Fort Worth, massive growth to the North, especially on the Dallas side, as we've seen communities like McKinney and Frisco explode. People used to move to McKinney and Frisco to commute to Dallas and many people still do, but now people are moving far North beyond McKinney and Frisco to commute into McKinney and Frisco. So the growth has been tremendous and not just to the north, certainly to the west. We've seen communities like um, Alito and Weatherford and Walsh Ranch explode out to the west. There's really been a lot of growth south as well, especially to the west as some, west, as some of those smaller communities have become slightly larger communities. Some of the lakes and rivers and recreational opportunities that used to really be outer ring are now really within reach due to the expansion of highways and systems. Um, uh, for for you know trains and buses and 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 the dart rail the rapid transit rails uh, and ability to get to the Dallas Fort Worth airport which is fairly centrally located and then Love Field which is a slightly smaller airport uh, to the east so there's a ton of opportunity there's major major development 
uh, of, of outer lying regions by massive developers, incredible master plan communities with acres, large lagoons. From the amenities um, and, and had set the bar for amenities. But when I saw a crystal lagoon in Cabo San Lucas, I said, if you can afford to build that, right. you have to build it. It's kind of like a no-brainer because... And, and community resources. Uh, and we're just seeing Dallas-Fort Worth explode. We're seeing people move here for thousands of different reasons, but so many of those reasons uh, show that Texas as a whole and Dow Dallas Fort Worth specifically is a really attractive place to move your family, move your business, own a home, own investment real estate, both residential and commercial. If you'd like more information about those things, drop a comment below, or you can find our company, the Tatramani Home Selling Team online at overunderagent.com. That's what we do all day, every day. Of course, we have a radio show and a YouTube channel and blogs and all those things, but we help people buy and sell homes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And sometimes we help companies make their move here as they're moving their families here as well. We can help get people connected with commercial investment and property as well. We'd love to be a resource to you, even if just here on YouTube, but certainly out in the real world whether it be property or your home or finding the right school district and grocery stores and all the things that make Dallas-Fort Worth awesome. So reach out to us. Let us know how we can help you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody that could help. Subscribe to the channel. And we make videos all the time about those individual communities, about overall, and about all the different aspects that Dallas-Fort Worth has to offer. So come check us out for a visit or make that move. Let us know. We'd love to help you. I'll talk to you on the next video. Take care.